All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today I'm gonna to be doing something a little different. Um, I'm gonna be giving you guys a little tour around uh, my hometown of Salina, Ohio through my GoPro. I recently fa recently bought a uh, an attachment mount for it for my car. And so I'm just gonna show you guys around. And uh, for all you tech spec guys right now, I'm using the, uh, the official GoPro like suction cup mount to the front of my windshield. And then I'm just using a standard um, no name lapel mic with like a little windscreen sort of dealio so you guys can hear me better instead of the usual GoPro shenanigans. So with that said, let's get on out of here. So yeah, right now I just got the, uh, the lapel mic just attached to my shirt here. Let me see if I can uh, fiddle with it a bit better. Okay, it's good enough for now. Um, I'll adjust it here in, here in a sec to get up to the stop sign here. And then just for this, uh, for the sake of this test video, you know, I have the uh, air conditioning and all that kind of stuff turned off. Um, I got all my windows rolled up, so it's, it's a little toasty in here, but you know, just want to see uh, how the ambient noise is as it is right now. Jeez, do you see that guy just throw shit out the, uh, out the window there? What the fuck? Okay. So yeah, like I said, I just got the uh, lapel mic pinned to my shirt here like uh, a proper lapel mic would be. And uh, right now we're going from the, uh, the mall area of Haven Road, or Haveman Road rather, to, uh, to downtown Salina. And you know, this is, uh, Salina is a very, uh, a very small town, if you uh, couldn't tell already. Not a whole lot going on with it. And you know, a lot of people may say there's not a lot of opportunity here. Excuse me. And there really isn't, I mean, unless you're into factory jobs or something like that. And that's pretty much it. You know, if you want to make a decent living out here. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this video. I don't know if I want to like speed it up, do like a time lapse or just kind of do it as is. Maybe put like a little bit of background music into it or something like that. I'm not sure, you know, I don't, this is actually the first time I'm doing like a, a driving vlog, but this is more of a test. So I'm not gonna officially call it a, uh, a driving vlog just cause uh, like I said, just testing out the software and everything. Just the, well not really not the software, but like the setup of everything. See, uh, how I like it. So yeah, it's a beautiful day to do these kinds of things, you know. And you have the DQ over there, and uh, that's a new uh, barbecue place that opened up. I haven't checked that out yet. Should be interesting. You got a subway there. Yeah, this is uh, well, not really the main main strip, but it's one of the main strips where it's got a lot of, like a lot of restaurants and stuff like that, just kind of around gas stations, things like that. Uh, that building on the left used to be a Bob Evans, but they're tearing it down to make something else, or maybe just tearing it down in general. I'm not not sure what they're doing with it yet, so we'll see. And Pullman Bay over to the left is uh, another popular place to go, and then over here again on the left is. Uh, Casey Jones, which is a uh, really famous, well, not really famous, but just like well-known restaurant in Salina, but it's closed down and set to open up again soon under new management, so we'll see. And La Careta, that's a, uh, probably the better Mexican restaurant around here. We got Casa Rodriguez, which a lot of, a lot of people know about, but it's, I don't know, it's more like white people Mexican food. So, yeah. And if you didn't notice, over on the left, while I was talking about Mexican food, there was a family video, which is a video rental store. I know, a video rental store in 2015. What the fuck, right? <laughs> yeah, let me adjust my mic. Yeah, 
sorry about all the rubbing noises and crap like that. I'm just getting used to using a lapel mic and I, I don't typically use them just because, you know, you hear a lot of throat noise and shit like that. So I'm not a, not a huge fan. So, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, just go off to the uh, rig. Should have gotten the, well, I mean, this is a, I don't know. <laughs> I should have got over right more. That's okay. Come on, little trick-or-treaters. Yeah, I guess today is the day that the uh, little kids go out trick-or-treating. I remember back when uh, when I was a little kid, we'd actually do it on Halloween day. Not like, you know, the weekend before or whatever. So, you know, grumble, grumble, I know. <laughs> there's the uh, Salina Theater, you know. For a small town as it is, I'm surprised it has like so many uh, cinemas and stuff like that. You can see like five movies. Which I mean, I know, not that special, whatever. But uh, like I said, the town's only about 10, maybe 11,000 people, last I checked. So uh, yeah, it's not that big. So for having a movie theater there, it's, yeah. But uh, one of the things I do like about Salina, as far as like from a visual standpoint, is the churches. Not a big fan of you know what goes on inside but hey that's just me you know but I do like the uh, just the architecture of like the old school style churches not like the auditorium you know office style uh, buildings that a lot of these newer churches have I like there's something I don't know kind of you know, kind of neat about the uh, the old structured churches you know it has a lot of tradition and a lot of you know presence i guess you could say in the older churches versus the new churches new churches feels like you're just going to an office to learn about god and it's like eh, i don't know but hey i mean that's just me you know if you like the newer churches then cool good for you me i like to keep it old school <laughs> but hey it's just me so all right we're kind of hitting the uh Hitting the outer limits here of of Salinas, so I'm going to turn around because I kind of uh, entered into town at the uh, like the middle point, so uh, I missed out on a lot of the the good stuff back there. So I'm just going to turn around and uh, we'll go from there. So, excuse me, I'll just turn around the CVS parking lot. And we'll just go from there. But yeah, man. Um, I'd like to do more of these uh, driving style vlogs. I think it'd be kind of neat, not only to show, you know, different, you know, parts of not only my hometown, but of other towns and stuff as well. There's the, uh, one of the water towers up there, if you can see. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, yeah, I do kind of like these driving style vlogs. You know, I've watched them a lot on YouTube from various people and, you know, if done right, they can be very interesting and stuff like that. Cause you get a nice visual and then you can just kind of talk about your day and you're not just, you're not just looking at the same old face on the camera, even though I know, I know you guys love my face. <laughs> I hope, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I mean, you get like constant visual stimulation and. You get to kind of see um, just, I guess, like a new part of the world, you know, even though in this particular video, you know, Salina isn't really all that interesting, I don't think. But it does have a lot of, a lot of neat little things, I guess, involved, just like with the architecture and just little aesthetics, uh, aesthetics, sorry, that I personally think are kind of neat. And who knows? I mean, maybe people from around the world who've never been to this part of the world you know may, may find this interesting you know all the old school style churches you know a lot of the you know right now it's fall so you know you got a lot of the trees and stuff changing color and whatnot so 
who knows i mean if you guys want me to do more of these videos i'd be more than happy to and you know feel free to let me know in the comments below in the booby boop or send me a personal message you know i i read all that stuff so yeah anyway over on the right there's the uh city hall so yeah i remember this place <laughs> So yeah, this is kind of the spot where we left off. Oh yeah. Yeah, right now I'm just drinking a, uh, a NOS energy drink, so. I prefer coffee because it doesn't give me like a, like an energy, like a sugar crash like uh, energy drinks do. But you know, I do kind of like the little spike that energy drinks give, but that's just me. So anyway, anyway, moving on. On the left, or right rather, it's Charlie's uh, Pastry. Very famous place here in Salina. A lot of people from all around Ohio and even as far flung as like Michigan and Virginia come down to uh, get the bread and stuff like that from here. That's really well done, so yeah. I guess we kind of caught this whole thing at a at an interesting time because of all the trick-or-treaters and stuff running around so I <laughs> I didn't plan on it for being that you know it just kind of happened so oh yeah that happens too <laughs> so it is what it is I guess fun stuff and uh, I do plan on doing more of these types of uh, videos when I get up to uh, to Kalamazoo and I'm hoping that by that time I'll have a a more better thought out setup because like I said I'm just kind of testing out things right now seeing how they are so right up ahead is uh, Grand Lake St. Mary's with the lighthouse and all the flags and all that kind of fun stuff so we're just going to kind of buzz by the lake here show you guys around see all the wonderful colors <laughs> and all that stuff and uh, the park and everything there's not much not much here now but during uh, festival season in the summertime um, this place is really jumping because over to the left um, that's usually where they have like the bands and stuff like that playing and you know they have like uh, classic cars and stuff like that set up and Salina, Ohio actually is home to the largest collection of amphiba cars which were a short-lived car design which allows them to act as a normal car on land but you can also drive it around like a boat in the water so every summer or so you know they a lot a whole group of them come out and you know just show off what they can do in the water and stuff like that and it's a, it's a lot of fun so anyway excuse me off to the left used to be a collection of trailers it used to be a trailer park but they uh the city bought out the land and they're planning on making it like an extension of the park but my guess personally and i think kind of echoes a lot of other people's you know thoughts are that the city's gonna you know sell the land and it's going to be turned into like condominiums or something like that so that's just uh just my personal prediction i mean honestly i don't have a stake in it so it, it is what it is but uh yeah it's just what i'm thinking is going to happen so yeah Alrighty. so this completes the uh the basic, I, I guess, like gist of my tour of my hometown of Salina, Ohio. So, with that said, this is the Andy Sun. Signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning into this video and watching my other stuff. And I also want to thank you guys for liking, for the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.